Hi guys, so I thought I would start a new series about POTS treatments. I've tried a lot and before you start one it can be quite nerve-wracking because you don't know what to expect. So I thought this series could kind of make you feel better about that if you're going to start a new medication. But also if your doctor doesn't know what to do with you, they don't know what to try, then you can watch these videos and then maybe suggest the ones that sound like they might be good for you. So I thought I would start with propranolol, which is this one. This is called a beta blocker and there are a few types of beta blockers. I've tried propranolol and bisoprolol. They both work really well for me. And how this works is it lowers your heart rate, but it does also lower your blood pressure. So for me, the great thing about this is that it brings my heart rate down and it brings both your resting heart rate down and also your standing heart rate which is often the issue with POTS in fact it's always <laughs> the issue with POTS so that's what it does what it's commonly used for are things like anxiety heart conditions and also as a preventative for migraine so I actually use this for three things one for POTS, two for anxiety and three as a migraine preventative and it works really well for me in all of those aspects. In terms of the side effects, the bad thing is that it lowers your blood pressure which can be a problem but if low blood pressure is a problem for you I wouldn't be put off by that. I'm on a medication which increases your blood pressure which I'll talk about in another video so that's something to bear in mind, but also not something that should put you off. Another thing is that it might make you a bit nauseous in the beginning. I found that, but it does wear off, so I don't think that's something to worry about either. And then on to probably the most important aspect of this, the improvements I've found have been drastic. For one, before I went on the medication, my heart rate was so high that I couldn't even sit normally. I used to have to hold on to chairs, like the edges of my chairs, because I was so dizzy that I was constantly like slumping to the side or falling off the chair and I was just so uncomfortable. But now that this has got my heart rate under control, I can sit so much more comfortably. In terms of the standing, my heart rate is lower than it was, so I can walk a little bit more than I could before. That hasn't been a massive, massive change. I still use a wheelchair for long distances, but it depends what your baseline is. So for me, I couldn't even sit up, and so it's meant that I'm now able to sit up, I can walk short distances, and also I can use a wheelchair comfortably before, like I said, I couldn't even sit comfortably so I was too dizzy to use a wheelchair whereas now I can do that and I can walk short distances and so really if you think about it that way it has been great for me. For you, if you're at the point where you can sit fine, it's just walking you can't do, I'd imagine that this would really help you with your walking and your standing. Like I said, it depends where you're starting because it can only help so much like all medications can. I'm on a low dose so I'm on 10 milligrams three times a day and that's what works for me. For you you might be able to tolerate a higher dose or it might be lower that's just something that you'd have to figure out and I think that's everything I wanted to cover so the main points are side effect is low blood pressure but there is another medication called Mydodrine which you can go on to combat that might be slightly nauseous in the beginning but it goes and then the great improvements are that you should be able to sit a lot more comfortably and be a lot less dizzy overall. It might enable you to use a wheelchair if you're not able to already or if you are able to stand and walk for very short periods you should be able to do that for longer. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!